we have uh, seen the classification of nerves and now we are taking the description according to the origin that is the nerves which originate from brain or end in brain that is cranial nerves and the ones which arise from spinal cord that is spinal nerves. So in this part we will discuss cranial nerves. In humans there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves. And these cranial nerves, they arise from brain or end into brain. Out of these 12 pair, 10 pairs arise or end in brain stem. Whereas only 2 pairs, that is 3rd and 4th, they arise from mid brain. So 2 pairs, that is 3rd and fourth cranial nerves they arise from mid brain all others arise from the brain stem and why we are talking of arising from and ending because the cranial nerves can either be sensory also they can be motor also or they can be mixed so if it is a sensory nerve it is going to originate from the sense organ and end in the brain and if it is a motor nerve it is going to originate from the brain stem and end in the organ that is why we write arise or end so nature wise they can be they can be sensory motor or mixed and the reason why I'm writing it like this, because after writing their names, we will write down which ones are the sensory ones, which motor and which ones are the mixed ones. Now, there are 12 cranial nerves and they are known by their numbers. Many a times questions are asked based on the names. Many a times they ask like fifth cranial nerve. What is the nature? So we need to remember these 12 cranial nerves in the perfect sequence. We can remember it whichever way we want, but whenever such kind of things are there, it is always good to have a shortcut or a short formula. So, if we write down a short formula, there are three, first three cranial nerves which start with O. So, there are three with O, then there are two with T. And then... Ephagwash. So it is O cube T square F I gouache. And the number should be 12. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. And let us write down them like this. So O, O and O. These first three are going to start with O. The next two are going to start with T. Then A, F, A, G, V, S, H. These are the 12. So let us number them. This is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So these are the 12 cranial nerves. Now, the first three names which are starting with O are olfactory, optic and oculomotor. Now again there can be a confusion which one is the first O? So the simplest thing is, if we bring our hand closer to our face, the first part which touches is the nose, that is olfactory. If we bring our hand slightly closer, it touches eyes, that is optic. These are just tricks to remember so that nothing goes wrong when we are attempting a question. So first one is olfactory, second one is optic and third is oculomotor. So these are the first three cranial nerves which are starting with O. And we also now know the trick which O comes first. We take our hand closer to the face. First structure which touches is the nose which is olfactory in function. Then if we take the hand back it touches the eyes that is optic. And the last one is oculomotor. So there should not be any confusion in the first three O's now. Now come the two T's. If 
we start again these are just tricks to remember this is one two and three last o count it as one so wherever there's three it is tri so this is going to be tri geminal and the other t becomes trochlear then now there are two a's at position six and eight one is auditory other is abducens if we start writing the spelling it is a b d u abducens and auditory is a u so alphabetically a b comes first so it is going to be a b abducens a b d u c e n s abducens and this one is going to be auditory so alphabetically also we can uh, understand or remember this there is only one which starts with f that is facial g glosso pharyngeal one with v that is vagus with s spinal accessory and last is hypoglossal so this is the way i prefer remembering all these things if you have any other shortcut which helps you that is fine but the basic point is we should remember the correct name with the correct number so that when the questions are asked on this we should be able to pick the correct note so now let us erase all these clues that we have here so 12 pairs of cranial nerves starting with one we going up to 12 to remember the number we have a formula first is olfactory then optic oculomotor trochlear and trigeminal then abducens facial auditory and then remember the formula this is glossopharyngeal vagus spinal accessory and hypoglossal spinal accessory sometimes is also written as accessory spinal it is also written as accessory spinal and trochlear is also written as pathetic so some nerves have some other names also. Trigeminal is divided into three branches. Ophthalmic branch, maxillary and mandibular. And as this is the fifth nerve, the three branches are written as fifth one, fifth two and fifth three that is five one five two and five three and this one that is the mandibular branch is also known as dentist's nerve this is just a special name given to it because this is the nerve which needs to be numbed by the dentist whenever they are performing certain procedures so sequence by a formula out of these 12 nerves first second and eighth are sensory so here we will write down first second and sorry eighth first second and eighth these are sensory nerves sensory nerves means they arise from the sense organ and going up to the brain stem olfactory arising from the nadarian membrane of our olfactory epithelium or the nose and goes to the brain stem optic from eye going to the brain auditory from organ of corti in the ear to the brain so sensory nerves carry the stimulus or message from sense organ to the brain and that is why we have we wrote here that either they end in brain or they arise from brain so these three they are pure sensory nerve arising from the sense organ and ending in the brain part now the motor nerves third fourth sixth eleventh and twelfth 
these are motor nerves let us write down the number third fourth sixth eleven and twelve these are the motor nerves now the remaining ones are mixed nerves that is we'll write mix here so this is fifth this is seventh ninth tenth so let us write down the numbers here mix are starting from here fifth Seventh, then ninth, and tenth. Let us count whether we have all twelve here or not. Three are sensory. One, two, three, four, five are motor, and one, two, three, four are the mixed nerves. So this becomes twelve cranial nerves. So now we know their ah. Uh, names accord with their numbers we also have certain additional information about it and which out of these 12 cranial nerves are pure sensory pure motor and which ones are the mixed now we will understand all these 12 cranial nerves and their function in a tabular form 